I wasn't going to quit. Uh, I just hoped I made time cut so that I didn't have to leave because I just wanted to finish. Yeah, I didn't have the legs of a champion, but I had the heart of one today, and that's all that matters. <laughs> no, today I was just thinking to myself, like, just, just like, just make time cut, just make time cut, like, just get to the finish, and, um, yeah, I was actually wondering if I was going to have to, like, walk my bike up that last climb. That's what I was thinking about all day, to be honest. I was like, I hope my cleats don't slip on the gravel when I'm walking my bike up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and I was, like, counting down the kilometers as I, like, inched my way up those slopes. Yeah, there was this girl I was riding with for a while, and, um, her DS was giving me gels and water and like it was just so beautiful like people just were willing to help anyone because they know how much of a struggle it was no matter what team you're on and yeah it was pretty amazing just to see everyone just like telling everyone to just keep going and keep pushing and yeah it was a pretty amazing thing to see um, yeah I hope every race is like that to some degree <laughs> yeah I was smiling the last one kilometer I just couldn't stop smiling because there were so many fans out there and I was in so much pain but I just would like make eye contact with a fan and I just just to see them there cheering and yelling and it was it was amazing and every corner there was more people more people I think there was one moment on the course where it was dead silent and I was like that's so weird because the whole rest of the race we had fans at any given point you know I feel pretty self-motivated most of the time but today I really needed that <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm really grateful they were there thank you so much